All right, guys, welcome back to the garage now Saturday, and uh, we are just about to pick up where we left off on the 1968 Triumph TR250 project. Uh, we talked about installing some parts yesterday. Uh, I've got them out here on the table. And uh, we were going to install the trunk latch and handle. I think I said in my previous video, I think I said bonnet instead of boot. So there's my correction there. So we've got the pieces here laid out, new pieces versus old. So we're going to do that. We're also going to install these uh, wing uh, supports for the rear bumper. So we'll install those. But I think the first thing I'm going to do today, uh, since I want to install that uh, boot handle, is uh, I need to color sand and buff the trunk lid. That has yet to be done. So I think we'll start with that before we put the handle on. It'll be a little bit easier to uh, work around versus having the handle on. So I think we'll do that. We'll do a quick uh, cut and buff on this panel and then we'll move on to installing the handle here on the trunk lid. All right guys, the uh, boot lid is now done. So I think that's looking not too bad. Hard to see. It's kind of in the shadow there. All right, so I guess we can go ahead and we can put the uh, hardware on and maybe the badges. We don't need no stinking badges. We're gonna put them on anyway. Okay, we're working on the uh, trunk latch hardware. I've got this piece in already, uh, just at the back of the car here. Underneath, if you can see this. So that's in loosely. So we're just about to fit the actual handle. My problem is, according to my parts assembly book, and I'm always checking to make sure I have the right parts, even though this is what came out of the car, it doesn't necessarily mean it's right. And apparently I'm missing a gasket. So part number 41 is a gasket between the escutcheon and the trunk lid. So this is the escutcheon here that slides on. So apparently I'm missing a gasket. So I think I have some gasket material. Maybe I'll just make one up and uh, should be good to go. Let me try that. All right, I'm trying to get my trunk latch to latch and I'm having an issue, so I figured I would uh, set my camera up and try to record what's going on. Oops. And see what I need to do as far as movement is concerned so I can make this work. So I've got a recording. Let's give this a shot, see if I can tell what's happening. See you in a minute. Oh. See if that helped. All right, setting the iPhone up in the trunk was definitely helpful to see where it was uh, hitting so I could make some adjustments. So that worked well. So I did get it to latch. It latches quite snugly with this new seal, but a uh, little bit of pressure on it and it does latch perfectly. So I'm happy about that. Uh, the gaps are still a little bit off on the left hand side versus the right. The right I think I can live with, the left is still out a little bit because that seal is a little thick so I might have to do a little bit of work in that area. The only thing I don't like is how the handle sits, it's not quite parallel. So I might have to do some shimming here and there to figure out how I can make that handle completely parallel. I'm not even sure if that's in actually upside down or right side up. I might even be able to flip it and that might help, we'll see. Again, we'll play around with it a little bit later. I'm just happy to have it on for now. So let's go and do something fun and uh, put some badges on. All right, guys, I dug my badge collection out and uh, some of them are in better shape than the others. This one definitely looks like a reproduction based on the script is a little bit different than the others. I believe the others are to be original. Unfortunately, the reproduction looks to be in the best condition. So 
to make a decision whether I want to use that or stick with an original badge. Um, I do actually have another uh, bonnet badge as well. Uh, I may actually swap out. I think this one might be actually in better shape than the one that's actually on the car, but they're pretty close. So, And uh, there's the original overdrive badging. I've got a new overdrive badge. This one's seen a little bit better days, although this could definitely be rescued. It could be polished and repainted. Uh, we just went with the new one. As far as clips are concerned, and this is a bit of a discussion piece some guys have, you know, how do I, how do I put these clips on? So I have a bunch of different options here. This is what actually came off the car, and they're just little plastic pieces of tubing. So I'm not sure if these were from the factory or somebody has just utilized these. They almost look like a vacuum uh, fitting kind of thing. But anyway, that's potential. Um, these are spire nuts, so you can use those. These are called barrel nuts. Um, they don't seem to hold the badges quite secure enough. I don't know if you can actually see that. But that's called a barrel nut. And then I've got some different styles of spire nuts. Here's a round spire nut that I picked up in this kit from my local Bolts Plus. And this is just an assortment basically of spire nuts. It's good to <clears throat> have something like this around actually. So you can see I've got a collection of different styles of spire nuts in there, including the round ones. So. Anyway, we'll uh, see which ones work best, and uh, we'll put the badges on the car. Looking forward to it. I always like putting badges on. Missed me. <laughs> Alright, looks like we're getting a bit of a storm. It's uh, much needed. We needed some rain. It's pretty dry out here, so that'll be good. we got the badges on. Give you a quick shot before I shut the garage door. That's looking good. Needs to be uh, tucked in a little bit more. Still sitting out a little bit proud. Because of that overdrive badge, it doesn't fit perfectly well. But we'll fix that once I can uh, get the garage door back open again. Probably don't want to be standing in the doorway and thunder and lightning is happening close to a big metal object. All right, we'll be back. All right, guys, still raining out, but uh, it's slowed down a little bit so that I can, I think I can get into the back of the garage here without getting too wet. So we'll continue on unless it starts to rain harder. Um, I think I'd like to try to get these lights on, the reverse lights on that we decided to try to install the other day, but we ran into a problem because I didn't have these little uh, J clips. These, uh, I only had one left. And these are a lot smaller than the ones that attach the fenders to the car. So as I was looking for my badges, I actually found a Triumph TR6 uh, trunk panel fitting kit. And in here looks to be some J clips that I can probably use. So fortunately, I'm a bit of a parts hoarder and uh, I can probably utilize those to get these lights affixed. So I think we're going to go and try to do that. So if you've never had the pleasure of installing these uh, beehive style lights before, they can be a little bit tricky. So basically what you need to do is uh, install the rubber grommet or the rubber boot first, and then there's a two part to this where the glass lens actually fits under a first seal. So the glass lens goes under the first seal, and that can be quite difficult. And then there is a second seal, and you can just see the lip of it here on the outside. Well, this chrome trim ring here, that fits under there under the second seal in order to keep the bulb in place so these uh, getting these pieces under those seals can be quite tricky so we have a plethora of tools plastic little picks little tiny screwdrivers to try to uh, move that seal up over the retaining ring and originally over the bulb so it can be a bit of a challenge and can be a test of patience but uh, stay at it and uh, should be able to get it. All right, coming up to about uh, quarter to nine, and uh, we're gonna end up the evening by putting on these parts that I threatened to put on this morning. So that was more than a few hours ago. So we'll uh, get under the car and uh, get these put on and off the bench so we can move on to something All else. All right, tomorrow. and the last job for this evening is to uh, actually get under my bench and see if my uh, bonnet popper might have fallen off the back of my workbench and down and behind so I'm going to clear out what's I got what I've got underneath the bench there and have a look and see if we can get lucky I'll report back. All right guys welcome back now Sunday morning and we're just checking out uh, the progress from yesterday with a little bit of sunshine 
and that's looking uh, pretty good. I did uh, do a little bit more searching for that part last night after getting under the workbench and checking to see if I uh, could find that hood popper there. Couldn't find it there, so I started going back through my bins, gone through these two here, this one here, that one there. That's TR3 parts back there, so it better not be in there. And I've got about one, two, three more bins to go here. Top one is paint stuff. Well, three bins, four bins here, and I think one in the uh, in the garden shed. So if I can't find it there, I guess we're just going to have to break down and order a new one completely. It's probably not a bad idea anyway. I just don't want to have to wait for it. Anyway, uh, not going to do too much out here today. <clears throat> probably just do a little bit more searching through bins. And uh, the plan today is to just sit the Surrey hardtop on loosely. I've just got that uh, dug out from the basement. So we'll just sit that on here just to see how it looks and fits. Um, that needs to happen so that I can position the backlight uh, accordingly based on where the hard top sits. It's kind of an alignment uh, thing that you do to when you're putting the backlights on these cars. You've got to make sure that the hard top fits squarely. So that's what we're going to do before we uh, get to cinching the rear and the front of this backlight down. So we'll do that now. All right, we've got the front hood pins in, which are these kind of little angled pieces that go through the holes on the capping. And I've just taped these off and marked out the holes, punched through the vinyl on the inside. So I think we're ready to go ahead and just uh, drop this on here to test fit it. Um, so, no time like the present, I guess. Let's see if she fits without marking anything up. All right, guys. Mission accomplished. The hard top is now just sitting loosely on the car. It does have the fasteners bolted up, but again, loosely. And actually, surprisingly, just kind of dropped on there pretty easily. So uh, our alignment is actually not too bad. I'm not sure how you could really align it much anyway with the uh, rear backlight. I suppose you could move the backlight back a little bit. Obviously the backlight still needs to be fastened down, so I can't really fasten the fasteners of the hard top down because it just pulls the back of the backlight up, if that makes sense to you. So uh, we need to do some work on that, obviously, and that's the reason why I got the hard top section out, so we can actually position the backlight and get it fastened down. So looking pretty good, happy with that. Um, obviously it needs to be painted, unless you like it white on the car. What do you guys think? Which color should I paint that? Should I paint it, obviously the color of the car is royal blue. Actually it's night watch blue. Should I paint it royal blue? Or should I do something else? Should I paint it black? Should I paint it uh, black with this faux carbon kind of thing to match my uh, trunk panel and my dash panel? I could do it something like that. Pattern. Or I could do something else funky with uh, maybe the uh, pearl that I used for the nose stripe. I could do uh, sort of a carbon fiber, not graphite, I think I said graphite before. I meant carbon fiber kind of look with the, uh, with the pearl that I used on the uh, stripe up here. Or I could do something like a uh, checkered flag up here. Like uh, if you watched uh, Project Binky at all, and if you haven't, I'd suggest you do. They did a really cool graphic on the top of their mini roof, uh, utilizing some pearl. So technically I could do like a royal blue and a ghost pearl checkered flag type design on the roof. I'm kind of wanting to do something just a little bit more different than solid royal blue. So you guys can weigh in on that and tell me what you think, what you'd like to see up on the roof. Again, some of you might just want the regular old royal blue with a clear coat. Let me know what you think. Anyway, I think we're going to uh, call it an end to this video out here. I'm not going to be out here uh, long today. I do have other things to do. I need to actually, I need to take a little bit of a break from the car to be honest with you. I've been at it pretty hard for the last uh, few days. Actually, yes, yesterday I took a bit of a spill. Doesn't sound like much, but uh, I was sitting on the milk crate here at the rear of the car putting these lights in and I pushed the milk crate back while I was sitting on it and I hit this edge and I went flipping over backwards <laughs> not gracefully either and sort of banged myself against the uh, the trailer and 
first thing I did, of course, was uh, get up and look around to see if any of the neighbors had seen me. Because it wasn't exactly graceful, let's just say that. So I'm feeling that little tumble a bit today. Anyway, uh, we'll call it a day out here. We'll upload this video. We'll get back out here uh, during the week. I have a busy uh, week at real work, so I'm not sure how much I'll be able to be out here. But we do have some exciting uh, news uh, on the wheels. They are supposed to be delivered now on Monday. So I might be able to get them like midweek, let's say, next week. And thanks for all your guesses in the comments section on the previous video. So we'll actually see what ends up turning up. So if I get the wheels by Wednesday, I might actually be able to get tires on them by the following weekend. So by next weekend, I might have the proper wheels and or proper rims and tires on this car. I need to order lug nuts though. So, or maybe not necessarily lug nuts, maybe I need to order splines and spinners. We'll see. All right, guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting and thanks for subscribing. We'll see you out here later in the week.